Wait, what is this? 18 minutes of useless information about League of Legends. I feel like a lot of people don't know this since they already own Jin, but Riot changed it so Jin now costs 4,444 blue items I know that. in the shop. It's a nice I little touch it. on Riot's part. Did you know that according to the Legends of Runeterra, Malphite accidentally lobbed Chip, who's Malphite's son by the way, into a lake while the two played <laughs> skipping stones. And apparently Chip didn't even bounce once. Poor Chip. Have any of you guys seen those TikToks where the laners say, can you, and then throw in random coordinates only for it to drop in a place that says kink, top, mid, or so on? Well, even though it's a great video, it's unfortunately not real because if you actually put in the coordinates, it just shows the longitude and latitude in the title. However, what is real are the locations that people randomly added across the map, especially gank top, which 131 people reviewed in some- Gank top cancer treatment center. I gotta look at this. Nah, this is not real. No way. Oh my god, it's real, dude. No way. All right, let's check the reviews of Gank Top. He was pushing with one HP, jungle inting hard. I give this Indonesian jungler a 10 out of 10. He camped my lane and even helped me push the waves. He gave me the rift and also never smited my cannon. Best experience. Response from the owner. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, is there any one-star reviews? Just FF, jungle diff, no drakes, no ganks. Which 131 people reviewed, and some of them, I have to say, are pretty great. The craziest part about this, though, is that Gang Top is listed as a cancer treatment center. You guys are literally the worst. I get the <laughs> actually this will probably never happen, but imagine how up it would California. be if someone in Indonesia showed up Japan thinking that Gang Top is a legit treatment center because of all the reviews. I mean, it doesn't get much better than 4.7 stars out of 5. By the way, if you actually want to do this meme in a game, you can actually just send them a link and it'll show up with the title but you'd have to do it during champ select so they could actually click on it i did however conveniently make you all a link for gank mid top and bot which i'll throw in the description by the way while you're in the description make sure should i click it <laughs> it actually works you link this gank top <laughs> gank mid gank bot what about the jungle we need something you know that the blue side will a lot of the time grant you more Hello. LP per win than the red side because the what? blue side naturally has a better win rate due to camera angle and objective positioning. And I know what you're thinking, why would the side that has the advantage gain more LP then? Well, this is why. To compensate for the slight advantage, Riot will typically throw teams with slightly higher MMR on the red team to balance things out. Losers Q exists and thus it will grant you more LP per win due to the MMR difference. Basically, blue side has an advantage, so Riot stacks the red side a bit more, and if you beat the slightly stacked team, you get more LP. And as proof of this, here's a ticket someone received from Riot that explains the whole thing. As some of you may know, a couple of years ago, there was an all-women's League of Legends pro team called Vevictus Esports, and, well, things didn't go too great for them. Why by not? that, I mean they never won a game, lost 34 games in a row, and managed <laughs> to set the LPL record for the fastest loss in history at 13 minutes. But that's <laughs> besides the point. What a lot of people don't know is that in one of their games, the opposing no. team, ROX, decided to ban all support oh, I remember this because, well, yeah. And after doing so, Riot Games gave them an official warning to ROX saying that although it's not technically against the rules, it's a sign of disrespect toward Vevictus Esports. Now, honestly, they probably shouldn't have gotten a warning because, I mean, getting mad at a team who banned stuff is kind of dumb, especially since some of those champions were actually meta at the time. But someone who did deserve the warning- I mean- Let's not pretend that's why they banned them, okay? Let's, like, listen, this is, like, uh, what's the word? Trying to, like, I guess, like, shoehorn this situation, right? Like, it's not, that's not why they banned them. Look at their game! <laughs> zero nine zero eight zero ten zero twelve yo ergot is popping off though 210 baby warning and punishment was a vega squadron because in one of their games versus vevictus they decided to stretch it out for as long as possible and nah. ended with a total of 52 kills so yeah all right let's talk some arena <laughs> stats real quick the current best champion overall is fjord with a dude league players, players are the so absolute worst 37.2 percent win rate the current best duo is basically anyone with fjord in it and the most played duo is a tie between Team Cancer and Team Windy Boys. The most popular augment is Thread the Needle, and the least popular is the Cannon because, let's face it, that thing is trash. Did you know a long time ago in an LCS game, there was a player named Niles who left the game just seconds early like solo queue players do all the time, but he got fined for it. Apparently, leaving That's even stupid. slightly early in a pro match That's can cost stupid. you a thousand dollars. With the Oof. Emerald rank now officially being added into the game, here's a few charts that shows the comparison of what the rank splits look like now compared to before. And as you can see there's some pretty significant let's see there's double the iron players about the same bronze less silver less gold more platinum and emerald less diamond that's interesting 
significant changes across the board. Most notably, the amount of iron players almost doubled. However, it is worth mentioning that it was still really early in the season. And for the rest of the ranks, things are definitely a lot more spread out. Did you know that in 2017, there was a player named Vasily who I kid you oh. not blamed his poor performance in league on- I remember this guy, dude. This guy was so toxic. I'm pretty sure he went to jail for something. Kind of don't want to say it just in case it's wrong, but I'm gonna kind of I'm just gonna say it. I think if I remember correctly, didn't he like get involved in like domestic violence? Might be completely wrong. Let's see. Him having too much intercourse. Yeah. What? <laughs> What? Wait, 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 what? Ely, who I kid you not, blamed his poor performance in league on him having too much intercourse. Yeah. He said, and I quote, The club maintained its winning streak, so it wasn't necessary for me to play, and I let myself indulge in sensual pleasures for a while. This led to me playing poorly in solo queue, but last week we lost, so I started- Yeah, yeah, I mean, low testosterone, right? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's got a point. That's why I'm playing bad. I mean, too much intercourse with Twitch chat's moms. I mean- To adjust myself to a more abstinent lifestyle. In other words, it sounds like if you guys want to climb in solo queue, all you have to do is stop having so much sex. It's that easy. Oh my god, yeah, it is him. XLM Q ADC Vasily arrested for domestic abuse. I knew it. Reddit page would look like in the future or in approximately two years from now. Anyways, I have to say there's some pretty interesting ones on here, like the Lives of Billionaires documentary featuring Hotshot GG, Reginald, and more. The UN declaring League of Legends access as a basic human right, or <laughs> apparently causing the death of 372 people from playing the game too much. A new skin line released <laughs> like Budweiser, Gregus, Coca Cola, Volley Bear, Starbucks, Nami, etc. And the prediction Japan is going to dominate in 2025, which would definitely make. I mean, this was not far off. So this was like a time capsule Reddit thing. They got the Red Bull Baron. Let's get the Coca-Cola replay. Let's do the MasterCard Pentakill, right? Like, I mean, they're really not far off, dude. Nami, etc. And the prediction Japan is going to dominate in 2025, which would definitely make things interesting. Oh, oh yeah, and off. apparently Worlds 2025 is going to be held in space, so that's pretty neat. Overall, <laughs> though, I will say these are always pretty fun, and it might be worth pausing for a quick read when you get the chance. According to the Runeterra tips, did you know that Leona hosts a big barbecue every year? Barbecue actually sounds so good right now. I'm pretty sure I just made thousands of people hungry with that statement. Here's a photo of some rips. This is a graph Ooh. showing the oh, average man. number of days it takes for each champion to right, I mean, a new tarts. skin. And it was updated in patch 13.15. Red arrows were just updating the graph based on the newly released skins before this. Overall, though, it's pretty clear that the champions with the least amount of average days are either new champions or the most popular. And then there's poor Rumble still suffering at the end with an average of 900 days between each skin. Honestly, wow. though, if they're going to do anything with the skins, they should just update his original one because... Wait, wait, wait. Who's at the bottom? And besides Rumble. Let me see. Rumble, Skarner, Tarek, Udyr, Rek'Sai, Urgot. Why do they not get skins? Is it because they're ugly? If we're going to be like real, realistic here, real, real talk here, these champions are definitely less aesthetically pleasing to look at than the Lux, the Sona, the Seraphine, the Soraka, the champions that always get the skins. Wait, they're all men. Man, 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 woman, man, man, man. Riot Games, you're being misogynistic, sexist between each skin. Honestly though, if they're gonna do anything with the skins, they should just update his original one because that thing looks like a freaking dinosaur. I can't believe that it's made it this far without any visual update. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks fine. I mean, look at this thing. It's hideous. Here's an no. interesting clip of someone actually killing someone with you think Soraka's it's hideous? ultimate. Anivia was getting low, Soraka used her ult, and then it seems like the echoes of Helia proct killing Kane. I didn't even know that it worked like that, but apparently it does. Either way, it was super lucky. This person on Reddit a few days ago noticed that Ash's head with the Lunar Empress Ash skin looked oddly familiar to a newer Immortal Journey Kale skin, including her icons even. Luckily, Riot <laughs> did change <laughs> Kale a bit more before her release, but it's still it looks somewhat similar. Did yeah, you know it does. Out of all the possible options, lung collapses are actually one of the most common esports injuries. Most notably, High from Cloud9 was hospitalized in 2014. Dumb One's Nagiri had to get surgery after a collapse oh, no. before Worlds in 2020. And most recently, there was a player in Overwatch this Dude, is anyone else like feeling like lung pain right now? Like, dude, whoa. Like, stop talking. What the heck? I feel like year in May who also suffered a collapsed lung. How Not does this happen? You would typically expect for a gamer, but it's kind of interesting nonetheless. Did you know that in 2022, Tinder officially added League of Legends as an option that you can choose for <laughs> passions? Which honestly, when you think about it, it's a brilliant move because at the end of the they're all single, dude. The, no, no matches. Zero match. The day they're trying to keep people on their app as much as possible, so it's a pretty smart play. Funny enough, in 2016, someone even made a Tinder specifically for League of Legends players called Unite, which didn't last long. But you know, you can filter by role. 
Hentai Star Riven. I don't know about this, bro. Night, which didn't last long, but you know, A for effort, I guess. In 2016, did you know that TSM tweeted that if their post got 20k retweets, they would pick Teemo in their next game? And they did. The only reason they did it wow. was because at the time, they already had their Respect. spot in the playoffs secured. So whether they... 16 and 1 TSM? <laughs> oh my god. Bro. TSM used to be a good team. Damn, what happened? Isn't it sad that TSM's gone from the LCS? It's actually really sad. First and in time. Case you were wondering, they lost. The other day, this player completed. Wait, wait, they lost, but what was Teemo's score? Teemo, one and a five. <laughs> Yeah, that was probably the reason they lost. Pretty top gappy this game. You're wondering they lost. The other day, this player completed the infamous no damage trend challenge in his plat ranked game, which is pretty impressive. In the case what? No damage Trindamir. And he won. He went zero and eight. Challenge in his plat ranked game, which is pretty impressive. In the case you haven't heard of it, it's basically when you go the entire game without doing any damage to your opponent, and all you can do is damage to objectives like turret. My top it's laner does that every game. Looks because you'd be surprised how easily it is to accidentally do damage like smacking them with your e when you're spinning away in other words if the enemy is ever on top of you you can never use your e and you can't auto them to heal the only request i have for you is that if you ever pursue this challenge please do it on the other team when arena was first being <laughs> added in champions with global abilities like twisted fate pantheon or even aurelian soul could actually move in arenas from the center unfortunately they weren't able to attack but it was still what? pretty great sadly oh. they patched it, but you can actually still all there the map. you just won't stay there anyway wait why did it speaking quality? of arena arena with the creation of an entirely new game mode also comes with a lot of bugs and one of the bugs that was confirmed by riot was that at some point auto attacks just like normal auto attacks was causing random spells to go off and in one instance shaco boxes were popping out of every auto attack for no reason it kind of sounds like my nightmare on a slight this step this is why i kept thinking shaco was broken dude he was bogged Note, they also mentioned a few augments that didn't quite make the cut, like Shiitake so. Happens, which was a deadly mushroom that spawns somewhere randomly in the arena each round, and anyone can detonate it, but only you can see it. Another was called Flicker, which at the start of the combat, That's every cool. 13 seconds, it automatically like teleported you to a random location within the arena and gave you stealth for a second. And the other was called Cast cool. a Fist, and it made it so you couldn't attack, but your allies gained 50% of your AD slash AS, and their attacks triggered your on-hit <laughs> effect. That's actually this pretty one was cool. Kind of weird because you really had to get creative with it but you could do things like have a double bork proc for instance or do mm. something that like applies twitch's poisons passive to another champion's ability kind of interesting mm. if you've ever wondered how to actually pet nefiri in game this is how you do it for the basic pet just hit control one twice for the next pet hit control two right after the what? first petting animation i know you could do and then this for the last pet hit control three right after the second animation oh, finishes. you're probably going to want to practice these micro skills and combos and practice tool before you get into a real match but honestly though sometimes it's like kind of hard so this is a fairly That's old cool. clip, but it's also kind of one of the craziest ways you could possibly die. This E was just doing gromp and used Q like a Y would do. And then when he uh -huh. used it, he randomly hit Lulu, who was on the other side, just casually recalling. Could you imagine being <laughs> that Lulu? I mean, at that point, I think you just might as well quit. Did you know that there's a bug with Scion? That's weird, because I think Master Yi's new Q can't attack anything that's not in vision. So that must have been like the that's the old queue. That was the old league. And Callista, where if you alt sign right as this passive is about to expire, he'll come back and alive at full health. The craziest thing about this is that huh? this bug has been in the game for at least four years because they also did a video on this in 2018. So maybe one of these days it'll be fixed, but it is not this day. Wait, is he like he's alive? Like he's you respond him? Or year for that matter. Puppy? He didn't die. Sub? So I'm not gonna lie, the Soul Fighter event is actually kind of hard, especially in expert mode. But this guy made a guide on Reddit telling you how to beat each one of the levels as well as what abilities to take. It's actually pretty long. long though, so I'm just gonna post a link in the description if you're curious. Did yeah. you know that the Soul Fighter Viego skins dance is a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Did you know yeah. that apparently Twisted Fate lost a card game once? Just once. All right, this is more of a shower thought than hey, useless information, but have you ever thought about how Aphelios probably thinks his sister Alune is insane? I mean, in the lore, Alune mentions that she's visited by Yumi often, but when you think about it, she's always talking about- That would make anyone go insane. Imagine getting visited by Yumi often. I mean, that's normal. 
a cat that Aphelios has never seen before. Now I know there's a lot of mystical things in the world of Runeterra, so anything's possible, but I'd still probably question her sanity. Speaking of Aphelios, did you know that his weapons are made out of moon silver, which is the same material that Diana's blades are made out of, and moonstone, oh. which is what Nami is actually currently looking for? Well, now you do. Did you know that back oh. in 2013, there was a bug where you could actually edit pretty much anything on your profile? Meaning if you wanted rainbow text that said swag and put yourself in cardboard five in pony land, you could do just that. <laughs> they were truly simpler times. Did you know that Seraphine has a voice line? Where I'm in Ponyland Elo right guys now. On the left ever came here. Oh, wait. I need to focus. Which is a direct reference to Jin from BTS. Basically, the story is Jin was referred to as the third guy from the left in a group photo of BTS at the BBMAs. Because at the time, a lot of people hadn't heard about BTS, so they didn't know any of the members. But the internet thought the third guy from the left was especially good looking, so everyone just started referring to him as that. By the way, these last few bits of info were mentioned to me okay. by you guys. So if you got any useless info, feel free to send it to outsidejokelol at gmail.com. Well, it's that time of the year again to update you on how the player with the highest highest level in League of Legends is doing, and that is still No Life Finn. But this time it's a pretty unique check-in because name is he no just life. passed a massive milestone by hitting a level 4,000 in 4, League of Legends. 4,000? How? I play every single day and I'm level 775 or 760. No account sharing, no botting, no hacks, just a huge waste of time and money. <laughs> Oh, he's self-aware. Honestly, that's just straight up ridiculous. Also, for the record, this is what the level border looks like. In case you are curious as- Wait, there's a level 4,000 border? What? I thought it only goes up to 500. If you go to my client right here, borders, goes up to 500. Is there so there's something after 500? Was in a League of Legends. Honestly, that's just straight up ridiculous. Also, for the record, this is what the level border looks like. In case you are curious as well, he's mostly just been playing ARAMs for the XP, but that's a lot of freaking ARAM games. Okay, how many ARAMs has No Life Finn played today? Level 4,005. One, two, three. Dude, he's slacking big time. Ooh, he's getting complacent. Look, he's only played 20 games in a week. This guy's getting very complacent. Maybe I should overtake him. Games. To try and put this into perspective, you get an average of about 175 XP per ARAM game. And on average, it takes about 3,000 XP to level up per level. So if we multiply 4,000 times 3,000, that's 12 million XP he needs to acquire. Or in other words, that's about 68,500 ARAM games. And if you take the average time of an ARAM game, which is roughly 21 minutes, and multiply it by 68,500, you get 137,000 minutes or 2,283 hours, or roughly 95 days of straight, non-stop ARAM. Talk about dedication. That's not bad. This guy found a bootleg. That's not bad. I mean, if you go on Steam, like, you probably have 2,000 hours in some game, random game. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. Come on, League of Legends game at some random store, and what? honestly, it's kind of impressive. It seems like it works pretty well too, and they even match the theme and dialogue. Even the items what? like potions got renamed to health potions. It really seems like a pretty great game, but my only concern is at what point is this kind of just considered slavery? Oh, this is Ash versus Fiora. What? Should we play this on stream? That sounds so fun. I wonder if it's an actual complete game though. Do they actually like evolve? Like, how? Do, what does Ash evolve into? <laughs> like what? thing is already a bit iffy making creatures fight each other but now we're blatantly catching people and shoving them <laughs> into a ball and forcing them to fight on your behalf other than that though it's a pretty cool it's okay it's okay they're fictional characters fictional slavery game according to this data which was taken at the start of the year in february this is the gender demographic for league of legends honestly there's a lot more female 87 percent male 12 percent female 1 percent non-binary Really? I actually thought there was way more females playing this game. I thought it was like probably like 70-30. We're kind of in a salami fest here, you know what I mean? It's got a little sausage party going on. Male players than I expected. Additionally, more zero than 10% of male players have been zero. playing for more than 10 years, which is kind of crazy. 17. Playing for more than 10 years, which is kind of crazy. Another I'm in the 10%. The stat is that 97% of female players choose to play a female champion. So <laughs> basically all of them. As far as age goes, here's a graph which shows which ages are the most popular. The oh, okay. Under 18 is 10%, 18 to 20 is 27, 21 to 24, 37, 22. I'm in this bracket still. Woo! Yes! I'm in the 22%. I'm not in the 3%. Guys, what, what percentage bracket are you in?
I'm into 22%. Yes, this is great. No offense to you guys, but I'd feel sad if I was in these brackets. Maybe it's time to do a new game. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Majority of players are between 21 and 24, and only 1% of players are 36 and over. It must be because, like, when you reach that age, you have literally no tolerance for bullshit. You have, like, your jungler inting your lane, your ADC flaming you because you're supporting wrong. Or you just have no tolerance. Like, I'm done with this game. Let me go golf. Dude, I'm in the 22%. Woo! There's even a graph that shows how often people typically oh. play, depending on if they work. So, students without a job, one third of them play every single day or not or in school i'd Visit expect that number to be higher in the legends of Runeterra, no, where they say try reading the loading screen tips for helpful snippets of information they're super useful especially arguably this one <laughs> see you next year mr three i'm gonna be the three percent next year see there's also another tip where aurelian still breaks the fourth wall and says no i don't want to be in a loading screen tip what's a loading screen anyways did you know that in the lore there are desert sand auroras that take place because of the celestial magic i have to say even though this is fictional the artwork is That's cool Pretty amazing. Did you know that Faker can play the piano? Because honestly, I didn't, but I guess that I should expect it. Uh, Faker can do many things. <laughs> oh, he's cranking 90s. Killing the cuphead boss. Playing. <laughs> Yo! Eesh. Faker. Oh, he did capture so fast. He's minecrafting. He's just doing something. Wow. Incredible. Incred this is true. Yeah, this is not edited at all. Okay, anyway, back to this video. Because he is the goat after all. I mean, what can this man do? He's probably challenger in piano too. Wait, he's actually really good. Oh, that's River and you, or something. River Did you know that in you. 2021, world champion Doinbee was fined for wearing yellow socks or specifically disorderly clothing. Nah. The main issue was less about the color and more about the LPL was sponsored by Nike at the time. And I guess yellow socks just wasn't making the cut. Did you know that some of the what? stickers in the Legends of Ruterra are references that's... to classic memes like these four? There is a Roblox game called A Universal Time that has a Yasuo and Yone as usable characters in the game. And honestly, it's not too bad. Back Dude, who's ready for the Roblox arc? I never played Roblox before, but I mean, the animations are pretty dang smooth. Like, look at that all. It's kind of crazy. People <laughs> it's better than League. League stuff into Yo. Like Roblox. Okay, I didn't know how what? clutch Nefari's dogs can be until watching this video. <gasps> Dog! This has honestly... <laughs> Dog! <laughs> Wait, how did he do that? How did the dog last hit the cannon? Watching this video. Ugh, dog. <laughs> this has honestly got to be one of the greatest League of Legends cosplays I've ever seen. I have never seen so many pings so unintentionally synchronized before this. It's really Whoa. pretty impressive. The real question is, where was the fifth guy in all this? Out of all the 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2 combos I've seen so far, the funnest looking one has to be Zillion and Karma with the chauffeur combo. Basically, what you have to do is get the chauffeur augment that allows one of you oh to attack my God. the other, and then you just have to give each other speed boosts and sprint around the And people ask me every day, Nightblue, why are you not playing 2v2? There's a ranked mode by the way it's ranked does this look like something you want to play against in ranked look at it map at ridiculous speeds it's even better if you can get some <laughs> other movement augments to go with yo it. Overall, it's they went a whole stuff. circle around heard, every single champion is receiving a brand new summoner icon coming in the next pbe uh -oh. update and these are the new icons they're also adding in some new emotes this person crocheted a little cassio that's doll. cool this is a really random fact but did you know that faker's corky is undefeated since the spring split of 2020 he's wow. currently on a 17 game win streak with him and finally wow. did you know if you hold your mouse over the small league icon in the top left of your client and hold it there for three seconds it does absolutely nothing <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please consider hold on i don't believe him let me try that shit he's right this is a really good video i like these a lot i'm gonna link this in chat guys this is a really cool video guys you should uh check it out yeah go ahead and like subscribe very cool video